Well, hey guys, I want to show you how to change the volume or automate the volume of a clip or audio file, uh, an individual loop file that's in session view as opposed to arrangement view. So the way you're going to do this, so um, I want to select the clip that I want to work on, so that in this case it's the tambourine claps. So the first thing I want to do is I'll make sure that your clip properties view is open, so that's going to be this arrow on the bottom right. And I'm going to hit this E right here, make sure that turns to yellow. So that's going to open up this envelopes box. Then I want to go and I want to make sure, sometimes it says mixer, but you're going to want to make sure it says clip. So now I can go in here and I can draw in the volume automation for what I want to do. So right now, if we listen to it. This wave. Your job's a joke, your bro. So you can see maybe I can, maybe I wanted to just take this volume of the tambourine down a bit more than it already is. Okay, so what I want to do is, like I said, make sure clip is on and make sure volume is selected. And there's some other um, things that you can alter as well for the clip. Um, but I just want to go in and maybe I'm going to zoom in on just these claps. And I'm going to just click with my mouse here to create these little nodes. And from there, I can bring down the volume and kind of separate the, the claps from the tambourines. So let's see if that is any better. So you barely hear it. So maybe, maybe I'll bring it up just a little bit. Something like that. And this is going to be a lot easier to do than actually rebouncing things, I believe, because this is going to take you maybe a minute or two. You can barely hear it there. So there you go. So it may take a little bit of editing to figure out exactly where you want it to be, but once you get it, then you can go in and you can do this one here as well. And that's it.